so hello guys welcome back this is viren kumar so today in this video session i am going to discuss about the what are the jobs and what are the types of the jobs in azure devops pipeline as we are working on the yaml pipeline now what are the jobs in the ci cd pipelines in the azure devops so let's understand the definition first about the jobs a job is a series of the steps that run the sequentially as a unit okay in other words we can say job is the smallest unit of the work whatever pipelines we will define a job is the smallest unit of the work so for the actual work we need to define in the job sections okay and that can be scheduled to run a job can be scheduled to run so this is the job definitions if anyone ask what is the job in the ci cd pipeline so you can provide this definition as a standard definition yeah now what are the types of the jobs available in the ci cd pipeline in the azure devops there are different types of the job but depending on where we run so we will consider three types of the jobs available in the azure devops ci cd pipeline the one job is the agent pool jobs the agent pool jobs always run on agent in agent pool so that we have discussed already we have created the one agent pool and we have created the self hosted and the microsoft hosted agents and then we have run few jobs for the demo purpose yeah second job is the server jobs the server job run on the azure devops server we have the azure devops server and this server job will run on these servers the third type of the job is the container jobs the container jobs run in a container on an agent in agent pool so here we have the virtual machines there we create the one virtual machines and on the vm machines we run the agent pool jobs on the container jobs will run on the container container is slightly different from the vm machines like the docker we have the containers so container jobs are in a container on a agent in the agent pool and how we do that we will continue in this video series now the below yaml file has a job and that run on the microsoft hosted agent and output will be the hello world this is a very simple job there we are not defining any job okay by default it's considered as a job this is a internal or implicit job definitions so first we have the pull definitions we define the virtual machine image that is the ubuntu latest okay we can select the windows latest also and then we have the few steps so you can define the steps and the steps will execute and when it's echo the output will be the on the command prompt will be the hello world so this is the simple job which is implicitly defined now pipeline single jobs that explicitly defined so a pipeline has a single job at least one job is required either it's a implicit job or it's a explicit job we need to define it as a simple job so every job have some additional properties and that we can define under a job in that case you can use the keyword job keyword so job is the keyword which we need to add and under the job keywords we can define the additional properties so we let's see so jobs is the keyword and this is array Okay. under the jobs we can define the single job so hyphen space then job then this job is the keyword then colon then space then name of your job this is the user defined name timeouts in the minutes so that is the property of this job we call these are the properties of this job now the pool we are going to define the pool on which this job will run so the pool is a vm image so this is called the server job sorry this is agent job this is the type 1 agent job which we will run on the vm machine and for this job we have the steps so as we know that job is the 
series of the steps which perform a smallest unit of the work so it will perform this work okay so this is the kind of the single job now let's understand the multiple jobs in the yml pipeline so we can directly specify the jobs in our yml pipeline so in that case if we want to define the multiple jobs we use the jobs keyword and last time for the single job we use the job keyword for the multiple jobs we use the jobs keyword so this pipeline has a one implicit stage this is the jobs okay this is the jobs keyword and under the jobs we have the one job is defined then we have the steps now we define the one more job the job a and the job b so hyphen space job colon space b and then we have the steps that hyphen base so there are the two jobs a and the b we call as the multi jobs and these jobs are part of the jobs keyword so this is an array and this is a kind of the one element this is a kind of the one element and every job have some steps to perform some smallest unit of the work so this is kind of the jobs now let's understand these on the editor then you will understand more about the jobs i'm going to the pipeline sections and under the pipelines i want to create a new pipeline and so i will create a one new pipeline so under this pipeline and i am going to select the starter pipeline so starter will give you the this information so maybe you can remove these ones okay few ones now now we have the one full vm images and under this we have the some steps so under we have the some implicit job is there okay so let's see the example first the vm image definition is there now we have the some steps same thing we have the vm image definitions and we have some steps so this is called the one job which will print the hello world so save and the run this job got started and it's completed the output so echo hello world and on the command prompt it's having the hello world is the job okay so this one job is completed now we want to edit this pipeline again and now we want to go with the jobs keyword okay so now under the pull vm images we have the jobs keyword need to define let's remove this one now we have the pull definitions and under the pull definitions we have the jobs so the jobs we can define under the stages now we have the stages so under the stage a okay we need to define the jobs so jobs are there so we use the jobs keyword now we want to define one job we can provide the job name a okay now for this job we can define the properties okay and what are the properties let's see so let me show you the properties okay so on my screen you can see that these are the properties that we can define for this job these are all the properties you can define okay cancel timeout in some minute continuations container continue on the array depends on display name pool services we can define the steps for the job strategy timeouts in the minutes so i'm going to select this one and then see timeouts in the 5 milliseconds 
now one more condition so i'm going to define continue on error so i'm going to define it's a boolean value now i am going to define one more properties that on the display name this is the string so this is single job demo yeah and now we have the uh, the steps we can define we can define the variables we can define the workspace now cancel timeout in the minutes so cancel timeout in the minute within the two okay now the container so these properties we can discuss so we define these are the properties now i want to run this this single jobs so i'm going to save this job and let's run this job now you can see the job name is this is a single job dem demo okay so this is the one demo job okay hosted agent started and the duration is 4 seconds so this is the kind of the job we have executed okay these are the jobs uh, properties and this is the one job like that we can define the multiple jobs okay so this is the job b and timeouts will be the same okay we can keep all these conditions as it is now i'm going to save this pipeline and let's run this pipeline now we have the multiple jobs so now you can see there are the multiple jobs this is a single job demo this is a single job b okay this is the single jobs so now we have run running the multiple jobs so like that we can run the multiple jobs and both jobs got executed Now both job is in the queue positions okay so they will run the one by one sequentially so like that we can run the so this is the example of the uh, jobs pipeline